Social media can either make a believer or break a believer. Is there a thin line between how your spiritual life gets robust or dwindles? It all depends on your usage of social media. Today in this very video, you shall know the best way to use your social media so as not to offend God as a true child of God. So pay attention till the very end. It promises to help make you a whole believer. Most believers stumble on the side on social media, majorly, most times, on the eve of their breakthroughs. And that has left so many believers stagnated in different areas of their lives. While social media has aided so many things, at the same time, it has caused so much retrogression for those that don't know how to use it appropriately. So pay attention to this very video. You will find out the right way to use your social media as a child of God. A wise man was said, if the purpose of a thing is not known, then abuse is inevitable. So it's very imperative to understand how to navigate these social platforms. Hallelujah. So uh, pay attention and listen. And by the grace of God, you shall be a better believer making use of your social media. Number one way, the best way to make use of your social media is anytime somebody posts something that does not agree with your faith, unfriend that individual. Unfriend that person. Amen? You might give them a benefit of the doubt, but refuse to allow them, especially nudity, pornographic materials, violence, etc. etc. Unfriend them. Amen. Otherwise, their posts keep coming to your wall or your feed. Your timeline thereby keeps seeing all those things that defy your spirit. Your spirit, man. So it's very imperative. They say, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. The friend of a thief is a thief, they say. And a friend of a hallowed is a hallowed. So which one are you? Praise the Lord. So don't allow those posts to continue flowing on your timeline. It is very, very, very imperative. It might be hard, but do so. It's going to help you a great lot. It will help your relationship with your maker. Amen. Number two, purposely or consciously do a social media fast as the need may be. Amen. There are sites that are very, very helpful. Amen. Just like sites like this, you come around, you receive some biblical, uh, you receive some teachings that will help your spiritual life. So consciously decide. Amen. Consciously do a social media fast, time to time, as the need may arise. There might come a time that you feel that, oh, I've not had enough time with my creator. Then that's about time. Amen. Number two, as the Lord will lead you, once in a while, go on a retreat. Praise the Lord. Know when to go on a retreat so as to allow space for your spiritual man, for your spiritual man to be built up. Praise the Lord. Because whatever you give attention to is what controls you. So whatever we do, the Bible says everything in moderation. Amen. So there is a need for a fast as the need may arise time to time. So pay attention to that. It's going to help you a great lot. This is number three. This actually ought to be number one. Praise the Lord. Pray. Pray before you launch onto any site. Amen. I've had so many people on this channel. They told me, they just say, Lord, I'm entering YouTube today. Lead me to the message that is going to help me. So many of them. Amen. And um, when you pray like that, you see something. Before you know, you see a video or you post that is going to help you. Amen. Because the truth of the matter, God is here. Amen. Satan is here too also. Praise the Lord. So, but discretion. The Bible says a wise man will guide his affairs with discretion. Very, very imperative. I cannot overemphasize that. Amen. 
So pray. Amen. The Bible said, commit your way unto the Lord. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. And he will make straight thy path. Amen. So don't assume that you know it all. As a believer, you've got to be conscious. Because to be quite honest with you, there are times you are about to experience your breakthrough and you will stumble into something that will defy your spirit. These are all ploys from the pit of hell. And before you know it, you are feeling sad already. Oh, why did I check on this thing? Amen. And sometimes before you know, the very thing you are searching for, you end up doing another thing. Because there's no regulation. It is very imperative. Amen. That's why the Bible said we should pray, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. So it is very, very, very key that we commit our ways unto the Lord and he will direct our path just as he said he will. Praise the Lord. So we must pray, Lord, deliver my eyes from all evil. Praise the Lord. So instead of evil, edification will be the order of the day. I pray you receive that grace and also ask the Lord to help you. And he will do so in Jesus' mighty name. Number four, general instructions. Amen. Pay attention to the way you behave while on social media. Hallelujah. The Bible says you and I, we are the ambassadors of Christ. Praise the Lord. There are so many believers, they don't post anything gospel on their timeline. They just don't do that. They believe in God. They rather watch so many things other than the things of God. Amen. And when you see a post about God, you make sure you like it. Amen. Even if you don't share, make sure you do something to promote it. Because this space is actually representing something. Hallelujah. And shout out to those of you that you've used your timeline and you've used your social side for the propagation of the gospel. Don't be a sideline believer. Make sure that God is enthroned in whatever you do. The Bible says, whatsoever you find doing with your hands, do it to the glory of the Lord. Amen. So make sure by the grace of God, whatever it will take, Amen. Even if you don't post, when you read a godly post that edifies, like it or you share it or make comment, just contribute. Because in this very space, at the end of the day, what you are doing is glorifying God because Satan is there also. There are some posts you see, they are not relevant. They don't add anything, but you see a lot of comments and all whatnot. So as a believer... You are part of the body of Christ. Amen? So we are just like in a war or in a battle. Who is going to win? Amen? So we must give our attention. Praise the Lord. So use your timeline just like, just like Peter gave his boat to Jesus Christ. And he made use of it. And he preached the gospel. And in turn, he enclosed a multitude of fish. So be like that. Amen? Many believers will type so many things. They will have the time and patience to type so many things. But when it comes to the conclusion of what they have typed, they say IJN in Jesus' name. They take the time to, 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 to type all the words fully. But when it comes to in Jesus' name, they abbreviate it to IJN. Amen. So it is not, it is not something that should be hidden. The Bible says be. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. So you are here, make sure that the gospel is being promoted by you or known by you. You might not be a preacher, but don't neglect write-ups you read that has to do with the kingdom of God. Be part and parcel of building that kingdom. Praise Master Jesus. And you have to be Conscious of the comments you make on sites that are not edifying to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know we all are guilty of it at some point. Amen. But this is what God is saying at this hour. And receive the grace to do so. And God will perfect that which concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So 
Don't also forget to influence others. You are here to be a social influencer. So make sure you influence people. Amen? By the things you post. And what are those things? The things you believe. Hallelujah. Like here on my channel here on Sunday while we are having live stream. By the way, we do have live stream every Sunday by 8 p.m. Nigerian time. So do make sure to hook up. It's going to bless you a lot in Jesus' mighty name. You know, we have seen that for some couple of times. Some people will come and say, Satan is God. <laughs> and they say all types of things. You know, people are not ashamed to promote Satan. What an evil generation. So how much more you? How much more you? That you have the real deal. Praise the Lord. So wake up. Represent that God that you believe in. Hallelujah. Because there is going to be a reward. And you stand for what you believe. Amen. If you stand for nothing, you will fall for everything. So make your stance today. Amen. And the Lord will surely bless you and your household. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And if today is your first time of being to this channel, if you gain anything of value, please consider subscribing like and share this video so that others get to watch again amen it's not that see if we don't know what to do but sometimes we need to be reminded amen that's why the bible says the word of the lord is new every morning hallelujah praise the lord so truth is truth amen truth is ageless truth is timeless so you shall know the truth and the truth the bible say will set you free in jesus mighty name I pray that the Lord God perfect that which concerns you. Any defilement you've encountered as a result of uh, the wrong navigation over social sites, I decree by the blood of Jesus, be washed and be cleansed. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord will see you through. And whatever you do on this side, instead of captivity, you will surely excel to the glory and honor of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Till I come your way again next time, shalom.